Good morning. It's probably getting close to lunch. We have kind of an unusual day. Jason and I filmed our last Q&A video this morning and then he left for work. And the kids have been doing some different activities. So instead of starting with our math and our English and things, several of them have been painting. And the boys have been out here trimming trees and branches. Um, we have, what's up buddy? We have, um, at the beginning of November, we have our big annual fall festival here where we invite lots and lots of people. Oh, he wants to ride on your back, is that what he said? Yeah. And so, um, you know, there's just so much to do. And we do whatever we can, and then that's what we do. And whatever doesn't get done, doesn't get done. But the boys have some little tree trimming devices. I don't even know what you use, buddy. The loppers. And so they were out here taking some of this woods back because we have these honeysuckle. It's an invasive plant here in Missouri. And it just grows and grows and grows. You've got to constantly be fighting the honeysuckle battle. And so down our lane road and here in the clearing and things, they're just took some back this morning. So that um, I said, if you just do a little each day, because Jason just doesn't have a lot of time. But that'll give us more room for parking cars. Yeah, this is what the honeysuckle looks like. You can see it's easy this time of year because it has these red berries on it. So, yeah, it is pretty, but unfortunately, it just, you can see it just grows. Like, it just, um, yeah, this is everything they took back. It just keeps spreading. It's very pretty. It's pretty. Good thing, because there's lots of it. So, thank you for your hard work. What do you want, Jen? Look at Willa. Ooh, she's weed back. Look what Isabella's doing. Getting to work already. That's the old fashioned way to weed eat. Yep. It works. It's a lot of work. It's a Look, lot of work. It's very, very pretty. Look at this spray. Mommy colored it all. Nice. Good job, Jeremiah. So for some reason, our tempera paints, we only had neon colors. I don't know how this happened. We used to have primary colors of tempera paints. Samuel just mixed his own color. That's a great fall color, isn't it? Yeah, they've been very busy. Bella did a farm scene. Beautiful. She used watercolors though, right? These are such neat watercolors. Richeson. My girlfriend bought me for, bought those for us, and they are wonderful, wonderful watercolors. I think she got them from Amazon. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why are you so unhappy? We're having too much fun here. We're getting distracted. Focus in. It's almost lunchtime. Um, let's see. Hi, mom. I ha my camera here has a um, my camera has a smile feature on it. That if you smile, <laughs> it takes your picture. And so everybody was getting really silly getting pictures taken. Oh, buddy. It's feeling a little bit slided today. Okay, get back to your work. Go there. Finish your math. Finish your Bible study. Yeah, you do. You finish working. Good. Oh, sorry. quiet up there. Lydia's sleeping up there. Okay, so what I'm doing... Um, I think it's probably the cool air that's making us all feel a little crazy because it's been in the 90s this week and today it's 70s so that's pretty wonderful and I don't know we're having trouble focusing got to get focused Bella leaves in just one hour for her 4-H program which she's been really enjoying and it's been really challenging hey you have math to finish it's been challenging her because um, the the um what do you call her teacher? I don't or know. The woman 20, in charge. Say it, Silas. Seven <laughs> trouble focusing. The woman in charge gives homework each week. So for this week she had to read an article that looks and easy. write a paper on her what she understood or got out of the article. So that's great. It's great stretching for Isabella. It's a wonderful, wonderful <laughs> thing. So right now I am writing down what the kids are doing in my log book. And I realize that I don't think I've ever shown this to you. So I wanted to show you what I'm doing this year. Here in Missouri, we have to keep track of 
the minutes that we spend doing things and what is done and what's the lesson. And I'm, every year I'm trying to come up with a better solution because every year I've had, or most years, I've had one new student added on. Um, this year I have four students that I have to log for because they have to be um, seven years old is the age when you have to start logging hours. And so I have four students this year that I'm logging. And I made a new um, spreadsheet and printed it out to make it easier for myself to jot things down. So let me show you what it is. All right, so this is what I made. It's a two, I have them all in a binder, and it's a two-page spread here. So on this side, I write down the things that they do and about, sometimes I'll jot down the minutes. So these are things that we all do together. And then um, I have the individual names of subjects that they regularly do by themselves. So, um, here, let me walk over here because his mouth is loud. Let's me walk over here. Oh, there's paint on the couch. Eeks. Now we got paint on the couch. Okay. So they happen to have quizzes instead of lessons. So I just wrote down the quiz or the lesson number that they did. And then over here, I will write down how many minutes everything takes. Let me show you a picture of that so that you can see what that looks like. Okay, so this would be, whoa, we did a lot that day. Some days we don't do that much, but um, I write down the minutes of everything that's done and then the total core hours and the total non-core hours. So that's for each kid. So there's Leo's. He has, this is what it looks like over here. And then I just, jot, just jotted it down over here so that each day I have the total in minutes and then I just, over the year, I will add those up and keep track of like the year to date. Like here, I had added at this point. And so I wrote year to date, 2000, you know, 915. Is this making sense? It sounds more complicated than it is. So, um, these two have written papers. And that's the amount of time they spent on it today. We've done quizzes, drawings, um, and then literature for their individual literature. I keep track of the books that they are reading independently, and we just they just tell me about it orally. I don't have them do written book reports at this point, but I'll just write down how many minutes they spent on their books. Oh, and then the books that we read together as that I read. Okay, the books that I read to everyone. I will keep track of those here in this other box for our family read-alouds. Um, memory work is if we work on any scripture or math or any memorization I, that I want to keep track of, I jot it down there. Um, this, I just reserved a box for whatever. A field trip would go there and I record the actual hours that we're at a field trip. That's how they like us to do it here. Any music learning that we do, maybe you know, learning a hymn or about a type of composer or anything could go there. History, geography, science. This would be um, any type of science, including our nature journaling. I would put that there. And then PE. So that's the when we go intentionally. My kids run and run all day long. <laughs> Their entire thousand hours for the year could just be PE. But this is the intentional um, physical education that we're doing. A lot of this is hikes or swimming, things like that in the summer. This is our CBS homework, and then I also keep track of the hours on Friday for two hours they're in a class. So I would put that here, CBS, for that many hours. And that's that. Any spelling, these two still need to do their spelling homework, and that would go there. <clears throat> and then I, this bottom blank is just if they do anything else, so I'd write like Isabella, you know, the, the time that she spends at her 4-H where they are doing active learning, I include that as well in our non-core, um, not non-core, what am I trying to say? Oh, my brain is blank right now, but we have to keep track of the difference between hours that we do at home or not at home instruction. So that would be instruction that she's getting from somebody else, not at our house. So that would go in a separate category. So as long as I keep up with this, that's what I was telling the kids this morning. It's like, this is a life lesson for everything in your life. If you keep up with it daily, it's not a big deal. If you fall behind and you're going back a couple days trying to fill everything in, then it becomes a much bigger job. So I just try to make sure that I keep this out on the table so that I can jot things down 
as it's happening and it's quick and easy and I have all their records for the year. Is it cozy out here in the sunshine with the kitties? I said to the boys, where's Jeremiah? He didn't come in with us. And then I looked out the door and here you were. No wonder you didn't come in because you get some kitty love. Do you know why I didn't come in? Why? Because I couldn't when I came up here. Yeah. <laughs> Taffy got on your lap. Mm-hmm. Two I kitties. Taffy. We were hoping to find homes for these two black kitties. There's twins, a boy and a girl. Hmm? Um, we still need to advertise them. That would help. But this is the mama cat who ran away the night before her appointment to be spayed, right? So she ended up running away and she came back and then had five kitties. And they're getting big now, you can see. Mm -hmm. you can see and they big. She's a pretty small cat, so it kind of... Yeah, this, I but think, have teeth. This one, yes, they have teeth, don't that they? That have teeth. But we have a sweet little black um, hey, set of brother and sister that would love a good home. We don't really want six cats here. That's a lot of cats. Mm -hmm. She smiles oh. at you. Is she giving you a smile? No way. Here Are you this smiling? Is this what the heck, Eddie? Are you smiling at Silas? She's happy because she's sitting up. She likes looking at you, doesn't she? Silas, it's just That's color. pretty cute. Oh, it, he colored on himself. So. Oh, wow. Well. Leo's just chucking ahead no. here, buddy. And why are you, you know? what are you scrubbing, Samuel? Mm -hmm. I'm scrubbing my skin. Three boys are doing CBS homework here. And the girls on it. are where? No. Lost. <laughs> They're, They're lost not lost. In the car. They Isabella. <laughs> Bull fight. Elsie went along with Lad. Bella. Nice Jason fight. took her to her 4-H horse group. So. Yeah, it's like this... Elsie went along. Where they go in and then all of a sudden a door slams no. behind them and they're locked. And then they're there's a bull coming at, at you. And then they die. I can't even remember when I last recorded because the camera's been down for several hours. It's actually 6 o'clock. Jason is at his men's Bible study and I tried yet another new recipe in the Instant Pot. I just threw in three cups of chicken broth. Let's see, two cups of long grain rice and probably like, I don't know, maybe two pounds of chicken that I chopped up and salt and pepper. Cooked it for 10 minutes, then vented it, and now I'm mixing in cheddar cheese, like a cup and a half of cheddar cheese, and peas. So we'll see how this goes. I just opened it. it looks like this right now. Before I stir it, that's just the chicken and the rice, salt and pepper. I'm gonna stir in cheese and peas and call it good. Look at this big girl that I have holding our baby. Oh, you do such fine. a good job. Yeah, she's fussy. And James is stealing the cheese. Hey, what you doing? Dad. You stealing the cheese? Yeah. What? Well, that's it for tonight. I probably won't vlog anymore. Can you say good night, friends, James? Can you say good night, friends? Good night, friends. We will see you next time. Say good night.